and Kids Play One. All right, guys. I wanted to do a quick video based on four more things we can all expect in Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection. Number one, the games are based on arcade emulation. While emulation is usually frowned upon by some gaming enthusiasts and for good reason, this case is quite different. The titles in this collection will all be run using the emulator. All of the games will feature different versions based on their respective region. Fun example, Marvel Super Heroes Japan is 95-1117 and its USA counterpart is 95-1024. I'm happy to say that I'm very excited by the arcade emulation as I played every Marvel game at the arcade except for Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I was told by a close friend that the Dreamcast version of Marvel 2 was the closest thing to the arcade port. So now, I'm very eager to get my hands on a copy. Number 2. The collection has 3 ports. So, I want to correct something I said in the other Marvel vs. Capcom collection video, and that is, the PS5 is not getting a port. At the time of this video, the only systems that the fighting collection is coming to is the Nintendo Switch, Steam on the PC, and the Sony PS4. Now PS5 owners can still take a sigh of relief, being that the PS5 has full backwards compatibility for the PS4 and by having over 99% of the 4,000 plus games working, there's definitely no worries there. Also, it was reported that the Switch will only be receiving a digital copy, while the PS4 will only receive a physical one. Now in the recent update in accordance with Capcom PR, the PS4 will have both physical and digital copies of the game. Number three, it has an option for more key cards and for saving. Another feature the collection has is the option to view more key cards while playing offline. And from my understanding, these are based on the same cards that's available on the arcade machine. And while this feature may be one of the smaller things about the game, I can appreciate the art and design from the original arcade games. Also. The collection has the option to use a quick save function. This means we'll be able to save our progress at any time and we can load it at any point in time. The save and load feature will be a great asset and this will definitely be used to practice on bosses such as Cyber Okuma and Onslaught. Number 4 its release date is December 31st, 2024, or is it? It was reported that the game was slated to be released for December 31st, 2024. Now, if you ask me, that's how to end off the year. While searching the PSN store site, I noticed at the bottom of the game trailer window is a date which says 6-19-2024. Now honestly, I have no idea what this means, but I felt as though I needed to include this piece of information. So yeah, it's safe to say we're getting a year end release and I'm still waiting to see what's being said over there at EVO. So there you have it. That was four more things we can expect in the upcoming Marvel vs. Capcom fighting collection. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and even share it. With that being said, I'm Dad Mishima. See you next video.